When we first begin, we're going to be greeted with this screen. We can type names in, select from the contacts we have stored on our phone, or we can import them with Dropbox. I'll show you that in a separate tutorial. Now let's select from our contacts to begin with. So we're just going to choose a handful of people. Um, we can scroll like normal, or we can tap on these index uh, letters down the side, and that'll take us straight to uh, the letter that we've selected. All right, we can cancel that, get out of it, or we can click on done, tap on done, and we've got 14 people, we can make groups, boom. So we've chosen two groups by default. We can slide that along and it'll do it automatically. If we go back to list, it will show us our 14 people again, make the groups, and it does that for us. Now, if we want a little more control, um, say we've got a person away, this is a regular group that we have, we can tap them once we've chosen absent there, and Beck won't be added to any of these groups. We won't find her name in that list. It's a few too many groups for the number of people that we have. Um, if instead of making groups um, according to how many groups you want, you want to make them according to a particular number that you want in each group, aka group size, so now we've got it set to groups of five. Um, so it will make five or as, as close to five as it can. Now we had 14 people, but one of those is absent, so there's only 13 in the groups. Um, and the alternative to that, uh, to those two, is just selecting a number of people. So that will give us four people, one person, 13 people, um, five people. It's up to us. Every time we do that, it's going to give us another random person, a random group of people. And for a bit more control, if we've got people that really shouldn't be in the same team uh, because they're just too good together or too bad together, um, whenever we select them like this, I'll show you that once again, there's the assign menu, separate one, separate two, separate three. There's three categories of people. So I've put Aaron and Adrian both in separate category one. Every time I make my groups, you see Adrian and Aaron, they're never gonna be in the same group together. You see mix up a little bit. But they're always in, in separate groups. Um, and then if I wanted to do that with more people, um, say I wanted them also to not be in the same group as those two, I can do that or I can put them in a different separate category. So these ones that are grey will never be in the same group but they could be in the same group as someone that is uh, blue and similarly with the orange ones in separate category three. Uh, they will never be in the same group those ones that are the same colour. Um, so this gives you a bit of control. Uh, once you've made your groups, you can view them like this, or you can view them like this. That just enables you to see all of them at the same time, as opposed to this one where you've got to scroll up and down. Uh, the advantage of being able to scroll up and down is that you can score. So if I turn scoring on here, so the default value is one point. Every time I tap on a name, it's going to add a point to that person. And it's also going to add a point to the group that they're in. Um, then we can change the group name categories. Uh, default is to be different fruits. Let's go for appliances. So we've got uh, the toasters versus the plasmas and the LCDs and the microwaves. Of course we can tap to add a score. If we make a mistake, uh, we can just set to minus one and take off that score. Um, we've got up to 12, down to minus 12. Um, and then, of course, we can email, email the groups whatever stage they're at, um, so we can t tell someone else about it. Um, just uses your mail feature and uses the mail account you've already got set up on your phone. Um, the other features are, of course, the ability to be able to shape to make the groups and automatically saving your lists. Now, that only works once you've saved it to begin with, so I'll just show you that. We've got our 14 people, a little warning here reminding us that uh, we've got a game that includes scores. If we start over, go back to having no groups, we're going to lose that. That's fine. Um, so list, I'm going to save this group. Prompts me to enter a title. I'm going to call this uh, class 7Q. Tap done. You can see the class up there. They're saved. Um, if I delete a person by swiping, 
that little save symbol that was just there. I could also add another name in this way. I could add Tim. You can see always in alphabetical order. Um, I can of course at this point use Dropbox. I could use contacts again. It'll just add them to this current list. Um, cool little feature is these information buttons, nice little animation there, and just explains uh, what these buttons are all about. Similar as well over here for a sign. It gives you the information you need. So a few little built-in help features there. I can go here, click on new, and I can start typing in my new class. And that will go in make my groups. I can save them. Done. Now when I go to my list, open, I've got class small. That's class 7Q. And I can switch between as many classes I want to enter. If you've got lots of classes, I really recommend using the import with Dropbox feature which again I show in a different video. Thanks for joining me. I hope you get a lot out of Make My Groups. Have a good day.